A week ago, I put out my video on blowing up $250-ish worth of ignition components because of a bad ground, because of lack of foresight, planning, you know, all the things that make a build like this possible. Well, what if I told you that I just did something worse? Yeah, failure. Avoiding warranties. When we fail, it's because we're trying to do something smart in a really dumb way. Now, what could I do that's possibly worse than blowing up $250 worth of ignition components? Well, I could uh, dye my hair purple. Oh, I already did that. Um, or I could uh, program my microcontroller to troubleshoot the ignition coils and then forget to reprogram it before I try and start it up after fixing the ignition coils. And that's exactly what happened. I was working on troubleshooting the ignition coils and I had a brilliant idea. Instead of cranking the car and having it run badly and then try and find out which coils worked and which didn't, I could take my handy dandy microcontroller right here and I could drive the coils so that they would fire once or twice a second. Easy peasy. Just uh, reprogram this with the dwell times and then uh, stagger them and then turn the ignition on. Voila! All four coils spark. And it worked. It worked great. I was able to use all four coils and uh, figure out which worked and which didn't. And man, that made troubleshooting a breeze. Everything fell into place. I knew which coils worked. I knew the driver now worked since I replaced it. And I went and ordered new coils. So fast forward a week and a half. I have the new coils in hand. It's time to replace them. Pull out the old coils, put in the new coils. All right, let's crank her up, see if she starts. But she still had the wrong chip. This chip in there, and it was programmed to uh, ignite each of the uh, spark plugs once a second. Didn't follow the cranking pattern or timing or anything, just once a second. So I went to crank the car, and it kicked, it bucked. It went crank, 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 buck. And I went, ooh, ooh, that's not right. What could it be? And I thought, oh, this is obvious. I just replaced ignition coils. I better check the wires. So I checked and made sure all the wires went to the right places. I, I checked the spark plug leads. I traced them down to the leading and trailing for the front housing and the rear housing. And guess what? They were all right. And then I, uh, I kind of spent about an hour trying to troubleshoot this, and none of that I caught on video. Until finally I went, hmm, it's almost as if it's not firing in the right order, or at all correctly. So I thought a little bit more, and then I went, oh, oh, I didn't. I did. I had left this in there. So I, uh, I changed out the chip and then I cranked over the engine and it, it started up without too much fanfare. The good news is while cranking it's at relatively low load and it was also loaded up with fuel so not a really good mix to begin with. I'm hopeful but that's why you check everything. Check absolutely everything before you start a car that's been in a maintenance state because you don't know when you've done something really dumb. Until next time, if you like this video, click like. If you want to make comments about my build or about my hair, make comments in the comments below. And if you want to see more like this, hit subscribe and uh, follow me on Voiding Warranties on Facebook. Until next time, keep on voiding warranties.